hello again, and I thought that now we should probably head back into our Arduino territory. So here is one of my favourite little toys, an Arduino board again. So you probably would have been thinking that it would be nice if we could get the Arduino board to communicate with the outside world, and indeed that is possible. So on board there are UARTs for serial, and that's fairly easy to implement, and uh, there's also um, other libraries out there such as Virtual Wire which will let you uh, use your Arduino to interface to other Arduinos. But what I wanted was something that was fairly simple and could easily interface to a computer um, wirelessly. So I thought of a good old radio amateur standard called Radio Teletype, otherwise known as RTTY or RATI. So RTTY is just frequency shift keying, so we alter a frequency to indicate 1 or 0, um, but the text is actually sent encoded in Bordeaux, which is a 5-bit format, rather than ASCII, which is a 7 or 8-bit format. This increases transmission efficiency. So if you've never heard Radio Teletype before, um, let me show you, because I have programmed this Arduino board with a function that can create a 50 BPS stream of um, frequency shift keying using the Tone library. So let me just get my speaker. This was salvaged from an old headset. It has a resistor in line to limit the current so that you can listen to what RTDY sounds like. So let me try this. I've got it running a beacon that sends a beacon every so often. So that was Radio Teletype. So So as you can hear it's a fairly slow form of transmission, only 50 BPS, but this is a, uh, it's almost like an amateur radio standard. Um, there is no error correction with this type of transmission and there is no formal preamble as such, but um, I chose to send diddles or phasing marks which allow the receiver to easily phase up with the transmitter. So this just runs a beacon which sends a message every so often, I think the delay is once every three or five seconds, uh, with an incrementing serial number which I can later adapt to transmit anything I would like. So the function takes in a string and it sends it out over RTTY. So let me just switch over to the computer running a piece of software called MMTTY and show you it decoding this RTTY audio just from a microphone. Okay, so here is the little speaker. I'm going to put it towards my webcam microphone which I've got uh, selected as a primary audio device for MMTTY, which is running here. As you can see, it's just decoded a string. Let me beacon one more time. So, let's see, there we are, as you can see it has my name in it, it says 50 board RTTY transmission by me and beacon number 29, so there we go. Okay, so I've managed to make an RTTY function which produces the right mark space tones to do data transmission. But that's not really very interesting because you can't really do much with it. So come these modules. So that there is a tiny amplitude shift keying transmitter. So you might have seen these uh, online for sale for next to nothing or a JCAR or that sort of thing. So that is a transmitter module and there's also an accompanying receiver module. So these are originally designed for things like keyless entry and uh, remote central locking. Interesting quirk with the receiver module is that it produces virtually no output current. So the um, the output data signal has to be buffered in order to use it. Sorry about that. So I put the transmitter on a little board which I've made. This board has an antenna on it and a few pins and that just turns it into a shield for the Arduino. 
So grab the board, carefully place this on it, if you'll give me a second, just to find the right pins. And there we go. So it just stacks on top like a shield. And lo and behold, it should be transmitting. So let's just get out a communications receiver and just turn it on. 315. And lo and behold, it's coming through nice and strong. So there's a the transmission. Now, the interesting part is decoding this wirelessly with a computer. So if you see here, it's just the receiver board. It's been mounted on a little board with an inverter chip to buffer it. And it just sends audio straight to the sound card. And we're going to be using the sound card to decode the data. Okay, so I've connected it to the sound card. And looking at the spectrogram, this is from Goldwave. You can see that now we've got white noise. And here we come. There comes the transmission and you can see it comes out to some sort of tones and you can see that there's lots of nasty harmonics riding on it because it's a very very square wave but the transmission does come out quite cleanly so now we can open MMTTY and look at the results of all this work okay so here's MMTTY and there we go it's decoding the transmission from the wireless so you can see it seems to work so RY is just um, it's just a pattern we use to test the transmitter. So there we go. If we don't have lots of data to send from the Arduino to the PC, we can use something as simple as frequency shift keying with one of these cheapy transmitters to produce a wireless link. Um, this is less arduous than say using virtual wire which uh, is not easy to decode and I don't think there's a sound card decoder out there for it. So there we go, an Arduino board, an antenna and a receiver.